Looking for a three bedroom home in St. Paul featuring hardwood floors, tall ceilings, updated kitchen, fenced in backyard, and so much more? Well, we got you covered. Roll that intro. Hey, this is Michael Getty with Mozzie Properties. Today I'm bringing you a video walkthrough tour of 718 Watson Avenue here in St. Paul. This is of the three bedroom home behind me. We're gonna go check it out. Be sure if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and check out the description below where I post things like rent price, availability date, and links to itself. If you enjoyed the video tour but the house wasn't quite what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I post hundreds of other rentals throughout the year. Now without further ado, let's get the show on the road. So, here is the home out here in St. Paul. Nice big side yard, there's your AC unit, fence with a gate. We'll take a look at the backyard here too. And you've got shops and restaurants just right down there, kind of a really cool spot of St. Paul. You can see you got other single family houses in the neighborhood here. Nice little steps. Get you up to your front porch up here. Go ahead and put a little chair up here or whatnot. And we've got a nice sunny days. Without further ado, let's head on in. Check out the home. All right, so upon entering, come into this nice, open living room here. Really tall ceilings, at least 10 foot ceilings for sure, which is great and makes this home feel much larger. Got some cool stained glass going on up there too. Front bay windows right there. Okay, so they got a huge couch, desk, TV and entertainment system over here. I do kind of want to show upon the entryway, you also have a nice little spot over here. Go ahead and get some shoes and coat racks and such. You got the cool letterhead up there and the numbers for the unit. Nice little bay window area here. And then we have one of our bedrooms up near the front of the home. And I do have room dimensions available online for anybody who's interested. See a nice big closet there. So yeah, if you're curious to get room dimensions, check out the ad descriptions or let me know. Heading down this way, we have our next bedroom. You can just kind of tell too with how tall and big this room is. Those high ceilings are awesome. Nice neutral paint themes throughout. Got a closet right here too. Plenty of storage available there. Well, we will show you got your bathroom right over here too. So we have our tub shower, toilet, sink mirror, little medicine cabinet. Right across we have a linen closet right here. Nice storage space. And then check out this kitchen. Pretty nice here with your cherry cabinets, stainless steel appliances. Got our fridge right here. Upper cabinets. Built-in microwave. Got a gas range. Nice countertops. Sink. Some nice windows. Dishwasher. And then what's cool about this is there's plenty of additional space in here. So you can kind of do what they did by putting up some racks, get a spot for a big table in here. Got a little bench spot over there too. So it's actually quite a spacious kitchen. And you know, well, this part here is kind of laid out for you. Gives you a lot of options on the back half over here. Uh, this walks out to the back deck. We'll check that out in a second here. But over here, we do have our in-unit washer and dryer with some storage space above. So you know our boat. Don't need to worry about going to laundromat or anything. Then we've got our back corner bedroom over here. And this one actually is carpeted. It has arguably the biggest closet here too. A nice double door closet. Overhead ceiling light. This one has shorter, I mean, this is like your standard eight foot ceiling as opposed to the other larger cathedral 10 foot ones, but it does have windows off two of the walls. You can see there's the deck off back. We'll check that out. The deck's pretty sweet. Okay. There's a basement too. So the basement's unfinished. I do want to show it to you here. As it offers some space down here to go ahead and use for storage if you like. 
So over here we have our water heater, and furnace, and AC. And you can see there's just a lot of space down here. You got your sub pump, little sink basin, and some more storage space. You got, you know, windows down here too. So a little bit of natural light and with the additional lighting or as well. Okay. Well, lastly, let's go check out backyard. So we have our back deck over here. Nice big deck here. See, nicely landscaped. There's that gate that gets you out to the front. You get this huge fenced in backyard. I like your own little spot. And we're getting to the nice time of year again where it's fun to be outside in Minnesota. So, got some more landscaping over here. Again, just this big fenced in backyard. It's great if you got kids kids, pets, or just like being outside. Get this double door gate to get back to the back alley. Otherwise, here's your garage. You got a nice double door garage here. Plenty of space. And there you have it. All right, well that concludes tour of this property. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye now. Thanks for watching our video tour. If you're interested in applying for the property, Check out the video up here to see how to do our online rental application process. If it wasn't quite what you were looking for, you can browse our other active listings over here as well to see what else we have on the market. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified with any new content. Thanks so much and have a great day.